Hey, hey, this message is for Pisces. How are you doing, everybody? Thank you for watching my channel. I am The Defined Maverick, but you can call me Yolanda. If you like the way I read, everything that you need to know about me can be found in the description box below. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscribes. Subs, what's up? We are in the house. The Soul Tribe is coming together so beautifully, and I cannot be humbled, more humbled, more pleased, more happy, more overjoyed. Overjoyed, overloved, over you. Um, <laughs> Pisces, this message is for you. This is how you loving. Um, we're going to check in with your person's energy and your energy. Energy is vice versa, as you know. And also, if you are new to my channel, uh, by the time I'm talking, once you hit the play button, you know, and I'm talking, singing, whatever, cracking jokes, shuffling cards, everything that comes out of my mouth is a part of the message. So that should help you greatly understand what this is, right? Okay, so um, I pre-shuffled, did everything, laid it out for time's sake. Pisces, you have the Eight of Pentacles, and the Kisses card that comes out. The Kisses card is all about giving and receiving. And uh, the Eight of Pentacles is about working on something. So you can be working on something, I'm feeling, uh, building this unconditional love. You're, you're, you want to be more uh, more reciprocity. You want more reciprocity in the relationship. Maybe one of you was giving more than the other. Maybe one of you was having some financial difficulties. One of you lost their job. One of you relocated, um, had to move in with somebody here and a brother uh, renting a basement. But you had some um, financial things happen. Uh, you know, and so one of you helped the other. It could be you. I'm feeling Pisces. You helped your person, or okay, and vice versa. And um, but that person's now Eight of Pentacles, working really hard um on something on a project. They are they are diligent working and have been very very much working to bring this um relationship into balance. Right. Um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, uh, Virgo, or Taurus. Uh, lots of um, got some Earth energy out here with uh the Eight of Wand. Eight of why did I say Wands? Probably because you guys need to talk, but um, communicate better, actually. But the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles is out here. But in between the Eight and the Four of Pentacles is the Knight of Cups that came out with the Cupid's Arrow card. And this card is all about have faith, love is coming. And if you look at that Knight, it does like he's going somewhere, right? He is leaving. He's going somewhere. I'm leaving on a jet plane. I don't know when I'll be back again. Um, love is coming. It says a surprise invitation or meeting. Some of you may be getting surprise visits, especially with this quarantine energy we got going on. There's going to be a lot of babies, <laughs> babies coming. But um, so you might be seeing your person soon. If you are in separation, this definitely could be for you. And if you haven't seen each other in a while, you could be getting like a hello, hello, you know. <gasps> You know, maybe a, a surprise, and um, I'm I'm feeling that very strongly that um, somebody is trying to surprise you, Pisces, uh, showing up at your doorstep. Uh, you know, baby, like a baby, I'm home, or almost like a you asked for it, you got it. You know, some of you are not had not, not even gonna see this coming because you're not even like really thinking you're cool or in good good uh, standing with this person, but definitely maybe getting uh, a surprise visit. But also. The this person went, um, Pisces, you went from an eight of pentacles to a four, down to a four. And this card is all about stability. Sorry, I just wanted to bite my finger for some reason. It was itching. I was like, I just want to bite it. Listen, okay, that's something. Somebody just wants to bite. <laughs> so either you have an insect bite, a spider bite, or somebody just wants to bite you. Like, you like, you know, you love that person so much or something where you see them or you see each other and you're like, I just want to bite you. I just want to bite you because I don't know why I just did that. Now I'm itching, my, my hand is itching. Some of you feel like you got some money coming. Some of you have been working hard on something and you do have some money coming. That's why your hands are itching. I'm not superstitious, I'm just saying, I'm feeling things up in here. Okay, so this card is all about control and stability. The number four is about stability. And um, the Sword and the Rose came out and this was at, out actually with Scorpio. But um, this is about clarity, truth, revelation. This is about um, protection and power. So those are the messages from this card. This person, are you Pisces? You're, you've been working really hard on something and you because it's all about you being the provider and the protector. Somebody wants to provide for you and protect you. Now, you are used to being very independent and very strong. I'm getting a lot of nine of pentacles energy, even though it's not out here. But Pisces, you are... Um, you are due to be taken care of. I don't know what that means to you, but that's what I'm hearing. You are due. Spirit is saying to me, you are due, D-U-E, to be taken care of. And the person that loves you, loves you, is trying to... Uh, 
control the situation, uh, control their finances, control themselves enough to even say to you, I want to um, protect you. I want to I wanna be the powerful one because, you know, you are definitely a force to be reckoned with Pisces because your intuition is on like a thousand and you can be very intimidating at times to people that don't get you because you don't talk a whole lot. You're not real rah-rah. You're very much introspective. You're very quiet and demure and you sit back in the cut and you observe a lot. You look, you know what I mean? You don't, you don't say a lot, but you... Mm, but well there are some of you that can talk 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 like air energy but you when you speak it's like er, wait a minute they just say something right so um you know pisces there you go so your person um has been diligent working on something and they're trying to give you this offer they're ready to um bring this love in they're they're letting you know that they're have faith in the connection don't lose faith i'm on my way i'm coming um and they're some of, some of you, again, are going to be getting a surprise meeting, a surprise invitation. You're going to be invited somewhere. Some of you may be invited somewhere by your person, especially during this. I don't, I don't know where y'all going to get quarantined that without. <laughs> anyway, um, and some of you might be going like out in the woods somewhere. You have an RV, you or your person, you, you guys own an RV, or you can you have a camper or something. Because I, I don't know why my hand is itching like this, but it feels like a, a bite or something. But you might be outside and, and get bitten, bitten by love. No, but anyway... Um, again, I'm having um, another card. The bottom of the deck for the clarifying deck is the lightning card. And this is, again, a sudden change. Shocking news. Again, somebody is getting a surprise gift. You don't even see this coming. I'm just hearing like, ding dong. Again, I'm hearing that doorbell so, so very um, clearly. But also with the sword and the rose, there's a surprise or an epiphany. Somebody also had an epiphany about what it's going to take to be with you, what it's going to take to live with you. Somebody's thinking about living with you. Somebody's thinking about um, partnering with you. Three of Pentacles in is out here too so your person could again capricorn virgo taurus um is out here uh that's enough l people no i don't want that one okay and also nine of wands nine of wands is out here because uh <laughs> because this working has this person weary this person that's in this eight of pentacles energy right with the um trying to you know bring uh, equilibrium or giving, giving and receiving, like the give and take, trying to bring equilibrium, 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 B, hmm. spelling B, bumblebee, B, just B, yeah, right, uh, some of you, I don't know what that message is, if, if you caught, if that's for you, okay, but I, I have no idea, I'm just saying what I was hearing, but um, Eight of Pentacles, um, with um, the Kisses card, they're trying to, they've been working very, very hard to bring this balance in the relationship. And they've been working, they've been, they've been, they've been warring. They've been really, really grinding and they're tired. So by the time you get this Knight of Cups offer <laughs> right here, then by the time this night gets to you, that night's going to be like, oh, oh, can I just sleep for a minute? Can I, you know, somebody might be getting a surprise visit from somebody that shows up and all they do is sleep. They just going to, they're going to get on that couch or or roll up in that bed and they're just gonna go to sleep because they are so tired because nine of wands, the right? Fire energy here, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. They worked hard to get to you, okay? Let's get you two angel oracle cards for advice and then I'm out of here, Pisces. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for continuing to support each other. Oh, I forgot about this card. On the bottom of my, um, I forgot to give you overall energy. Indecision here because they're trying to figure out, for some of you, Pisces, you're trying to figure out um, how, how to do what they're trying to do. They're working on several things. You see those eight, eight pinnacles. It's like they're trying to figure out which one they're going to, that's why they have this nine of nine, nine of wands energy, because they're trying to figure out how they're going to bring this in, how they're going to level up, how they're going to support you, how they're going to, um, uh, have the happy home, have the, you know, the four of wands energy, right? Cause I'm seeing these cards as I'm calling them, but, um, anyway, they're trying to, they're, they, they're indecisive about um, how they're going to do everything they want to do because, they, like I said, it's they're working hard. They're, some of them are, are not even eating properly. They're not sleep. They're definitely not sleeping um, in their mind. They're, they're very weary, um, but, but, they're, but they're fighting because they want this. They want to bring in this four of pentacles. They want, like, you see that man holding those coins? That's, that's you know, he, that their person wants to hold you like that. They want to hold you down. That's what I hear. Your person wants to hold you down, right? Um, in a good way, hold you down. Some of you might, your person might want to hold you down because you move all over the place and you're just gone and you're just everywhere and all over the place. But, um, there's also another message. Um, what was the other message? Indecision. Some of you might be dealing with a third party situation and your person is still trying to decide, um, uh, should I stay or should I go? 
Should I stay or should I go? They're still trying to make a decision whether they are going to come to you. But guess what? Nine of Cups. You, you're it. You're the decision. They just, they're just in their nine of wands like, oh, I don't know which way to go. Because where they live and what they're, who they're attached to is giving them a tough way to go too. They're going through like pure T H E double hockey sticks and they feel all tied up, right? They feel, all, they, they feel like they're bound. They're even, either bound to an obligation, bound with children, or they're bound to that person because that person is either a threat, and a threat and I'm hearing threaten their lives. They have them by, they have them by the, the cojones. They have them by the, by, they have them tied up, uh, the masculine energy, of course. Um, they also have them tied up with um, uh, societal standards, like, like we, like we're a couple, we're an us. We're in us, you know, they have the, it, so it's like a cultural thing. Like, you know, they don't know what to be apart from this person. So they feel tied up in that, what society, expectations of others. Thank you. Thank you, spirit guy. Ex, they're tied up with the expectations of others. Some of them are tied up in their thoughts about how you person watching Pisces think they are, or, you know, Pisces, you're worried about how they think you are. I can't help but notice the journey, the journey card. I'm not trying to pull cards, but the journey card, I just, it was jumping out at me after all tied up because they're choosing you and they're coming to you. I told y'all, somebody's getting a surprise visit, perhaps. Somebody's getting a surprise visit. Okay, so Angel Oracle, thank you for watching again. You know, I'm trying to keep these nice and short and sweet. One more for Pisces. What can we say to Pisces to encourage their hearts, encourage them on this journey of life? Ooh. Oh, okay, that was easy. I'll turn it over. Let me give you one more. I'm working with two decks. Mm. Now, two came out, three flipped over. But I'm going to put it back because I like to have one card. Because the more messages I get, the more cards come out, the more I'll talk. And I'm trying to... <laughs> okay, prioritize. Got it. Thank you. Okay, guys. So, Pisces. If you believe... If you believe... So do you think the, the love is coming? Do you think the offer is coming? Do you think they're really truly working on what they say they're working on to be with you and to um, like grow old with you? Do you really think that they can take care of you? Do you really think that they can hold you down? You will have what you say. If you believe, it shall be so. The other one is prioritize. Archangel Metatron says focus on your highest priorities and he will help you get organized and motivated, okay? So Pisces, don't be distracted by what this person's doing because I feel like uh, there's a great, I'm feeling like some energy of distraction around, especially regarding like this indecision, like they're, you know, you don't, you don't believe they're, they're doing what they say they're doing. They are working. They are. You don't, you don't, but you don't believe that they're being diligent. You don't believe that, you know, that look at the, but look at the nine of wands. When you, next time you don't believe, <laughs> if you believe within your heart, you know that no one can change the path that you must go. Shout out to the Wiz writers. Who sang that? Believe you can go home. One of those witches. Believe that you can float on air. Listen, it'll be whatever you believe. Believe you can go home. Believe this is your person. Believe this is your partner. Believe, Pisces. And while you're believing, prioritize because they're coming and you're going to need to get organized and motivated. You got to do you. You don't have time to be fretting about whether this is happening. It is happening if you believe. All right, Pisces, listen, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Please like, please, 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 somebody might mean please. Hmm. Anyway, please subscribe, share, comment. I love it. I love it. I love you all. Um, until we meet again, you take care of yourselves and each other. Bye.